Right now in the state of Illinois, 30 public schools have zero students who can read at grade level. Zero. 30 different schools have zero students who can read at grade level. So this doesn't mean that they have a lot of students who are failing reading. It doesn't mean that there's one school where every single student, 30 schools, how does this even happen? How does this even happen? I'll tell you how this happens. This is something that I talk about in my book. Um, when I talk about public education, we know that public education right now is completely corrupted with critical race theory and trans ideology, the 1619 Project, moral relativism, all of that stuff. We don't really need to establish that that's happening. We know that it is. But let me, one of the most interesting tidbits that I came across when I was researching my book is that public schooling in the United States hasn't been mandatory the way that it is now for that long. It, really not that long. Public schooling became mandatory. The first state to adopt it was actually in 1852, the state of Massachusetts made public schooling compulsory because at the time there was an influx of Catholic immigrants to our country and the Protestant politicians in charge of Massachusetts wanted to indoctrinate the immigrant children in American values so that those children, the immigrant children, would be loyal to America first rather than the country with their birth. And they wanted to indoctrinate these immigrant children in Protestant values because, well, the Dec or the centuries old battle, the ongoing battle between Protestants and Catholics. And I realized as I was reading this that our education system actually was always intended. It is supposed to be used as an indoctrination center. It's not supposed to be this neutral reading, writing, and arithmetic center. That's just, that's, that's not possible, right? You can't, you can't have children in your care for eight hours a day, even if you're just teaching them academic subject without imparting some sort of values. There's really no such thing as a value neutral education. Yet, even though our education system was intended to indoctrinate, it was Republicans who, or at least it was Republicans who let go of that. It was Republicans who relinquished that, who, who surrendered it to the left. Somewhere between the time when public schooling became mandatory and now, Republicans just completely stepped back and Democrats were only too happy to step into that void and fill that with Democrat values. And I think that this is something that, conservatives and the Republican Party need to grapple with because it can sound edgy or unappealing or even um, immoral to say that our schools should be used as an indoctrination center. But that the reason that it sounds edgy or immoral is because we associate indoctrination with what the left is indoctrinating our children with right now, the critical race theory and the trans stuff. But indoctrination itself isn't necessarily immoral. It's actually a very ambiguous word. It's, it's a morally neutral word. It, it, it's not good or bad in and of itself. It depends on what's being indoctrinated that determines whether it's moral or immoral. And right now, the Democrats are indoctrinating with immoral stuff, which means that the indoctrination is immoral too. But Republicans need to take back education and not just try to make it into some value-neutral reading, writing, arithmetic center. That's never going to happen. They need to take it back and start indoctrinating American civics and values and Judeo-Christian principles. It doesn't mean forcing kids to, to worship a God that they don't, that their families don't choose to worship, but it does mean teaching the underlying morality, the underlying Judeo-Christian morality that underpins our entire society, that underpins not only our laws, but our culture and the function or the, the way that our government was set up.